Hi everyone and welcome to my place. Today I want to show you how to make a woodland table centre. It could be for Easter, it could be for a wedding, it could be just a little still life for you to put on your coffee table to enjoy. Look at it, isn't it just absolutely gorgeous? And I love, I've, this here I've just used as a cheese board because I wanted something with nice and woody. But you can buy these now, I just absolutely love them. If you've got access to a lovely birch, especially you girls in Russia, you could cut these up and length then just put them into the oven to dry them up, but they're so lovely. And the texture of those with the wood and the lovely bits of bark and the lovely little succulents, easy, easy, easy to create. And I just also love this, look at this. I, this here is starting to come and be available all over the world and it's just birch that's cut into strips. It comes in lots of sizes from the even bigger than this to the medium to the lovely small size here. And what I've done is I've just used some tins and put a couple of holes in the bottom of them so that I've got some drainage because I want this to continue living. And then just place the bark around it. And then what I've done is I just get a bit of string because I, th you know, that lovely bit of jute. Put that around there just to hold it in place. You could glue it if you wanted to, but oh, I don't see any point in doing that. So just cut those off there. And it needs, oh, hold on, didn't put any drainage holes in. You need to have, I've just got a hammer and a nail here. Easy to find. If you haven't got one of those, just go to the hardware shop and get some bloke to do it for you. Right, with everything else that I do when I'm planting up anything, I've got some lovely river stones in here, which, oh, sorry about the noise, which I'll just put into the bottom there. That's just going to help with my drainage. And I don't re, because I'm going to be putting succulents into here, I don't really need to have too much soil. Right, from there, tip your soil in without making a mess. Make sure that this is clean and doesn't have any bugs or any weed or anything like that into it. Take that up to there like that, and then just push that down. Now I've got a whole heap of beautiful, beautiful succulents here. Now you can see what they're starting to do. It, just cut them off and just put them under some wet sphagnum moss or a wet t uh, paper towel or something, and what you'll find is those little roots won't take very long to grow and to, to start rooting off and I always cut these little bits here off we don't re or just pull those bits there off you don't really need those and the great thing about the succulents is that what you can do from that there if you put that into a little bit of sand and keep it moist that will actually start to grow fantastic how nature works okay with where's that one that I just had oh here it is. Right, what I also like to do is to just get the wet sphagnum moss and then just put that on the top of that like that and that'll retain the, the moisture and that will just sort of like stay there for as long as, I don't know how long that takes to go down, but that just sits onto there and then it's just a matter of building up your own little still life of what you perceive the bush to be. I've also got some lovely bits of bark here, so I'm just going to put that into there. And I've actually used a few artificial succulents, but if you've got the sphagnum moss all over that, you don't need to worry about that. I really love the little bird's nest over there, which is very eastery and a lovely little bird. But how easy is that? Just recycling at its best. A little bit of bark, a little bit of moss, a little bit of soil, and then the things that you perceive as woodland gathering. And I really love these little artificial moss balls and I'm just going to put that into there and then put that on the top like that. How's that? If you wanted to for a wedding you could put candles with it as well. Easy designing, fantastic, absolutely love it. This is the new way of designing for those that want the woodland look. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed that and I will see you another day.